Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a little first impressions of the Auric Cosmetics by Samantha Ravendahl. Here's a little packaging right here. Um, I don't know if it's Auric Beauty or Auric Cosmetics. Either way, I'm a huge fan of Samantha Ravendahl. She is probably my, probably my favorite YouTuber, has been for forever now. I've been following her page since Battle Ash days. If you know, you know. And yeah, I was super excited that this came out. I have really dry skin. I love like luminous, hydrated, dewy, sparkly, everything. So I feel like these products were really made for me. And I know I'm kind of late. I know a lot of people have done their reviews already, but I still wanted to get mine out there. Um, yeah, I do all of the products on my face. I didn't do any swatches, so I figured if you're interested in the products, you probably already saw some swatches, but I did apply all of the eye products to my eyes. I did eye swatches with just the powders, just the creams, and both combined. This is kind of my finished look. I also reviewed the Glow Less products. I got two shades of those, and I got all three shades of the Smoked Reflect eye, um, eye shadows. So yeah, this is what I came up with, and if you're interested in seeing how I did this look, or you're just interested in seeing how these products perform, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so I figured I kind of would just um, play around and try to show you every product on my face, and then we'll finish the video out with a final look. So I did purchase um, two of the Glow Lust, so this is the packaging that they come in. This is kind of her multi-purpose highlighting um base product that she came out with so this is the packaging super super beautiful and then she also came out with these smoked reflex which are a combination of a cream shadow with a glittery topper on top and this is the packaging i purchased all three colors of the shadows that she came out with and i purchased two colors of the glow lust i purchased mordenite and selenite which i will show you so Mordenite is this one right here, and it is more of a pinky. Um, this is the lightest shade in the range. I believe it's only seven shades because she said that um, they are kind of like a multi-purpose product, so they kind of stretch along many skin tones. They're more of like a sheer product. They're not like a foundation or anything where you need an exact match. And then the other shade I got was Selenite, which is a little bit warmer. This is the second shade in the line. So I think we'll just start with the glow lust and then i'll go on with the eyes so i'm going to start with selenite i believe because i do have a little bit of a fake tan fading so i'm going to take this as my base product so i'm just going to squeeze it and just to note um the pump is like very controlled so you can take a tiny tiny bit or you can do a full pump um i think that's really smart and also the cap on the products are really hard to remove um because she said that she didn't want it spilling out in your bag or anything. She did make such a like a large product for like what kind of product it is because she wanted people to be able to use it um, in a lot of different ways and she didn't want them to run out soon. And then that cap is just to make sure everything's secure and nothing's spilling out in your makeup collection or anything like that. So I'm gonna take selenite. This is what it looks like on my hand. And I'm going to apply it all over my face, I believe. First impressions, it feels really thick, um, more like a base product rather than a traditional liquid highlighter, which I like, and it definitely is, I'm looking in the mirror right here, um, it definitely is more like sheer, so it's not like you have to have your exact shade, because I know that shade wasn't exactly my skin tone shade right now, but first impressions, it looks really, really luminous really like hydrated but it doesn't look shimmery or like chunky or anything it's almost like I just put like water on my skin and it like melded into it really really gorgeous it's more of that glass skin effect which is really really beautiful and like model-esque so that's selenite and I will go in with the other one later but I just wanted to apply this just as a base I might apply a little bit more I like really luminous skin so that's just me you could probably like any if you're like more of a matte person or you don't like maybe more oily skin you don't want to look like you're oily because you already you know feel like you are you could just apply this in targeted areas i wanted to just see how it goes under foundation so i'm going to apply a pretty good base of it and then we're going to move into the eyes and then i'll kind of finish up my look and we'll see how it goes all right so i do want to show you each of the smoke reflex so this first one is temper and i'm just going to show you here's the cream this is more of like the rose gold shade really really pretty and then it has a topper which is 
like a traditional rose gold as well. So hopefully you can see all of the dimension. These are really glittery and look super nice and like fine and very pretty. So the next shade is Ego. This is more of like a pewter, like silvery shade. So that is the base, the cream base. It's more of like a charcoal-y. And then the topper is more of like that silver. Um, it almost has a little bit of gold in it, making it like a little bit more interesting than a traditional silver. So that's that. This one is really stunning. And then the last one we have is Defiance, which is more of a bronzy shade. That's what it looks like right there. And then the topper for this one is not like a perfect match. It's more of like a light champagne, which I think will be really stunning. So I am going to try them all on my eyes. First, I want to try just the topper um, on bare skin and just see how that goes. And then we'll do the cream and then we'll do both together. So I think I'm going to start with Defiance. So that's more the champagne shade. I'm just going to take it on my finger right here and I'm just going to apply. Oh, that's stunning. So they do feel kind of hard pressed, um, which is fine. They are applying nicely. I am getting some pickup on my finger. It doesn't look like it's a lot of um, fallout, which that is really nice with glitter. Um, this probably, like I'll have to be removing them and I'll probably just use like a makeup wipe. And so I'll probably have glitter all over my face just because when you try to remove glitter, it just kind of manifests. But that is Defiance. Really stunning. Hopefully it's picking up all the dimension and glitter in it. They don't feel super, super gritty. They do feel like a nice formula that the glitter is embedded into rather than just sitting on top. So that is Defiance, the more champagne of the group. Alright, like I said, I am apply like removing them right after I apply them. So my eyeballs probably will get a little bit of red and there probably will be like glitter dispersed just because it's not removing perfectly. But we're going to go in next with Temper, which is more of the rose gold shade. So I'm just going to take it with my finger and apply onto my eyeball. This is more of like a nude shade, I would say. This one feels like it's really hardly pressed. Um, I do have to just kind of work a little bit more to get it on my finger, but not like scraping it or digging in, just like a little couple extra little swirls with my finger. Yeah, this is more of like a nude shade on me, the topper. Really, really stunning, hopefully you can see. Definitely more of like my skin tone kind of shade, really gorgeous. This, oh, this is really beautiful. It has like that slight gold, that slight pinkiness really lovely and then last but not least we have ego which is the more silver shade if i can get it open and i'm just going to take it on my little finger and apply this one feels like the less like the least hardly pressed if that's how you say it, I don't know. But this one's definitely picking up a lot more just on like one little dip with my finger. They all are applying pretty similarly, but I just wanted to note that. That one is stunning. So yeah, I think I got a little bit more payoff from this one just because I didn't have to go in as much with my finger, but I think it's really gorgeous. They all are really pretty and I got good payoff from all of them, but I just want to say that I think I got a little bit more from this one. So yeah, this shade's really interesting. It's not just a flat silver. It has like a couple different shades, I feel like, in it. And it's really, really stunning. I think this will be my preferred way to use them just because I love a good eye topper. Just like on like bare skin when I'm heading out the door, just apply this and mascara and you're done. But we are going to go on and I'm going to try on the creams and then we'll see how they layer on top. All right, like I said before, there might be glitter everywhere, not because they have a lot of fallout, but because I'm wiping them off. And usually when you try to remove glitter, it just likes to dance around on your face. So we are going to start off with the shade Defiance. I'm probably gonna do one on this side, one on this side, and then we'll do my final look with another one. So let's go ahead and take the cream off of Defiance. I'm gonna take a little brush and just apply it this way at first. And I'm just going to apply it all over. At first, this shade didn't really catch my eye. I was planning on only buying two of them, um, the other two. 
but once I saw swatches and people making videos and stuff about these, like the um, people that got in PR and stuff, I really, 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 really thought this shade was gorgeous. So I'm applying it like that. Super easy to apply, really easy to blend out, it seems like. Just trying to feather it out on the edges. And then I'm going to take the topper for it and pat it on top. Oh wow, I really hope the camera is picking up all of this goodness. Okay, so that is Defiance mixed together. So gorgeous. I think this shade is perfect. You know, she could have done more of like a bronzy gold topper and that would have been pretty too, but I think the champagne just adds that extra like kind of like Hollywood glamour. I feel like you see like people wearing this on like red carpets and stuff and you're wondering like what are they wearing? I mean, it looks like it could be like 10 eyeshadows or it could just be one and this is one of those products. So dimensional, so easy to use and so just like gorgeous. So that is Defiance right there. Next I'm going to go in with Ego. So I'm going to take Ego on a brush. By the way, the consistency of these is like a mix between like a cream and kind of like a jelly formula. It doesn't like move around in the pot, but it is very easy, easily manipulated. You don't have to like dig hard. It's not like really pressed in there. So just wanted to note that. So this is Ego, and I'm just going to be applying this. This is the darkest shade, I believe, um, just based on me swatching it right now. Um really really gorgeous more of like a deep kind of pewter charcoal shade I'm gonna actually take a little fluffy brush and just blend this one's edges just because it is darker and I kind of went pretty heavy-handed with it all right and then we can continue with our little flat brush all right so that is ego just the cream and then let me apply the beautiful little topper. Oh wow. This is like taking you from zero to 100 real quick. Like this is such an easy smoky eye. Are you kidding me? Really, really gorgeous. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more. So that is that one. Oh my god. These are just so pretty. I wasn't expecting them to be like, I mean, I swatched them and I thought they were gorgeous. But these are like blowing me out of the water. They're so pretty. So that is Defiance and Ego on this eye. And yeah, I think they perform really well. They don't feel sticky or like a gloopy, like a gloss would, like an eye gloss. Um, I don't think they're going to crease. I will leave down in the description a little update. I am going to be wearing them a little bit this weekend. And I will just leave a little update down there, just how they perform, how they wore, and if they creased or not. But I don't feel like they are. They almost kind of just set down like a regular eyeshadow would. And oh, if you're like into like glitter or anything, or just like really easy products, these are stunning. I believe she is going to restock them. Um, I will leave any information that I can find down below. I think Ego is the only one in stock right now, but I might be wrong. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and take these off and then we're going to get back into the base and then we'll finish up. All right, so I went ahead and applied my concealer and foundation and I just wanted to show you before I applied anything else how the skin is looking with that glow lust underneath. Definitely more luminous than I usually look with this combination. I went ahead and used my Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation and then I used my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer underneath and also a little bit on top. And I definitely am looking more glossy than usual. I love it. I think um, definitely if you have oily skin and you're not into a glowy look, definitely use this as more of a targeted um, item. But if you have dry skin like me and you love a glossy, like, model-esque glass skin, this is so gorgeous. Everything applied really nicely on top of it. It almost worked as, like, a primer. I feel like everything went really smoothly. And I feel like I didn't have to use as much foundation. I don't know why. That might just be my... Um, imagination but i think we're looking really good this foundation is usually more of like a natural too dewy um like in between foundation pretty much like medium coverage and i feel like it looks so stunning definitely really really um glowy from that product and i'm loving it so i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup my face makeup and then we'll get on to the eyes all right so i am back with my base almost complete i applied my uh, foundation, concealer, a little bit of powder just in certain areas, 
um, my blush and my contour. I'm going to do highlight last with my other color of the Glow Lust, but still I'm looking super, super glamorous and dewy. Um, even the places where I applied powder, kind of just like in the center of my face, I still feel like I'm really luminous, which is what I like. I like the ability to be able to set my makeup and kind of dry everything down without taking away my like lovely dewy finish. So I'm thinking everything looks super good. Let's jump into the eyes. Alright, so the shade that I did not use before was Temper, which is more of the rose gold. That's just kind of what I was feeling today. So let's go ahead and apply. I'm going to take this little Wet n Wild brush and start kind of packing it on. I think this is probably more of the more most natural shade in the collection. I really hope she comes out with more colors of these because I feel like the formulas are stunning. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of roughly apply it to both eyes. And I'm going past my crease too because I want this to kind of be like a complete look. I'm just going to take a little blending brush and kind of just manipulate it on the edges. Alright, that's looking super stunning. Let's go ahead and take the topper on my little finger and I'm just gonna I'm kind of just loading it on here because I love how this looks all right so that is temper all complete with both products or the cream and the topper my eyelids are feeling a little bit stingy from removing and putting stuff on but really really gorgeous this is more of like a nude look for me. Um, on other skin tones, it probably will be a little bit different, but I think that looks stunning. I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara and eyebrows, and I'll be right back. All right, so that is my look almost complete. All that's left to do is highlighter. Um, I was going to do lashes, but I thought the look was pretty like nice and natural. I used my Bite Upswing Mascara. I've been really loving that one lately. Applied a little bit of a lip, and yeah, let's get into highlights. So I did use that darker shade, the second shade, for my base. So I'm going to go in with the brighter shade for my highlight. So I'm just going to take it on the back of my hand. This is Mordenite, if I didn't mention that. And I'm going to take it on this little, like, kind of like, oh, it has a hair, sorry. This little stipple brush, and I'm just going to stipple it into the brush. And just apply on the tops of my cheekbones, a little bit on the forehead. I'm going to take a little bit with my finger and just go down the center of the nose and on the tip. I love a good nose highlight. Uh, I also like to do it between my eyebrows. A little bit on the cupid's bow. And on the chin, why not? I'm going to kind of, I like to do like a C around my eyes with highlight. I'm just going to take a little beauty blender and just kind of pat it in. I think I have a brush hair right there. Maybe not. Oh, that is stunning. Hopefully you can see. Yeah, I think you can. I look super dewy. But that's what I like. Alright, so that is it as a topper. This product is blowing me out of the water. It applied so easily. I did have a little bit of powder there, and it doesn't seem like it's separating or anything. It looks super good. Sorry if the camera's moving. It looks super really nice super really nice but yeah this look is everything for me um sorry i'm staring at myself in the mirror i need to stop but yeah that is my completed look using the Oric cosmetics um glow lust and smoked reflect i think my skin looks like glass it looks so pretty and luminous and beautiful and then I think the eyeshadows are gorgeous, whether you just use the powder, just use the cream, or you use them in combination. I think they can go from super, super, like, kind of, like, natural and just, like, careless and, like, carefree and beautiful to, like, a really smoky, defined look. I think they're so pretty. And like I said, I will update you on just, like, wear time and stuff because I am going to be using these products probably every single day because I love them so much. I love how my makeup looks. I think it looks stunning. Um, but yeah, that is my completed little first impressions. I know a lot of people have done this already. I'm kind of late to the train, but I figured better late than never. I was super excited to use these on my face, and I figured I would just record it and um, have fun with you guys and film 
so yeah i can't pick a favorite product i think they're all my favorite definitely recommend purchasing them like i said i will um leave down anything below that i can find about restock i believe a lot of products on um, like the glow lust are still in stock but i'll check on that as well i leave the link to the website and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and found this interesting um and i'll see you guys next time bye